What's up my Central Unit, it's the Central Man here, so this is my predictions for WWE Royal Rumble 2020. The 32nd annual Royal Rumble event. Yeah, this Sunday for the US, Canadian, Mexican, whatever parts from North America you're from. Uh, as for the UK, Ireland, European fans will be in the early hours of Monday morning. The road to WrestleMania 36 starts right now. So, eight matches on the card. I'm going to save the Rumble matches later on. I'm, I'm just going to predict the non-Rumble matches first. So, the one match I'm going to predict is for the United States Championship. A Ronde Cien Almas defending the belt against Humberto Carrillo. I know they changed the name to a Ronde. Not changed his name, but shortened his name to a Ronde. But I still call him a Ronde Cien Almas. Quick prediction, I'm going to go with Ronde Cianomas, uh, retaining the championship on this show. Because he's just won the belt, you know, he won it, I think he won it a month ago, in that house show in Madison Square Garden against Rey Mysterio. And he s successfully defended the belt this past week on Monday Night Raw against Rey Mysterio in a ladder match. That was a good ladder match. But, yeah, I just want to have him have a good run with the belt. It'd be a typical WWE's uh, sh uh, shtick. Have him winning the belt uh, one month and went on to drop the belt the following month. That's my theory of it. Anyway, uh, let's move on to the next match. The next match, I'm going to go with um, Sheamus. The return of Sheamus taking on Shorty G, but I'm going to call him Chad Gable. This is Sheamus' first match in very long time. I think, he, yeah, he got injured. I think, what's the last time Sheamus had a match? I think it's since nearly one year since Sheamus had a match. This is the Sheamus, the old, he, he, go back, he came back with his old look from 2009 to 2014. Before he, you know, with the Mohawk from 2015. So anyway, um, short is, short, I don't think Sheamus would win. I really want Sheamus to win because he just came back, but... The throw this is they just WWE's but back themselves in the wall again. Because like if Sheamus lose, what's the really point coming back? But surely uh, if Chad Gable lose, it'd be a typical yeah, old guy uh burying a younger guy. I'm not saying Sheamus buries young uh younger talent. Anyway, but I'm gonna go with Chad Gable being Sheamus, man. It's a I have to pick now. So anyway, um, anyway, moving on to the uh, yep, yeah, the SmackDown Women's Title match. We got Bailey defending against Lacey Evans. I call it Botchy Evans. I'm gonna go with Bailey retaining the belt. I don't want to see Lacey winning. Let's be honest. They they push Lacey Evans straight to the the moon in you know the the way back way back in the spring of 2019. They pushed her sh too much. You know, free title matches against Becky Lynch, and she lost. She's a loser. I don't find I don't want people seeing into Lacey Evans. I don't I don't find her. She's a good wrestler. I don't find her. She's looked like a dude, in my opinion. You know, she's not good looking. She's terrible in the ring. That's for me. But if you like her, hey, more power to you. But yeah, I'm gonna go Bailey defeating Lacey Evans. Let's move on to yep, the Raw Women's Title match. Becky Lynch, the man, defending the belt against Asuka. One half of the Kabuki Warriors, one half of the WWE Women's Tag Team Champions. It's got to be Becky, let's be honest. I think, like, Becky defeated Asuka. Or, I think. No, Asuka defeated Becky last, um, yeah, last, um, I think it was last year for the SmackDown Women's title. That led to Becky winning the uh, Royal Rumble, yeah, last last year to win that Rumble match to get a shot at the women's champion Ronda Rousey. I think Becky's gonna get her win, get, get her win back. My theory is that Becky, the only person who's gonna beat Becky Lynch for the Raw Women's Title, it's gonna be Ronda Rousey, man. I gotta say it's gonna be Becky versus Ronda at um, WrestleMania. You know, I just gave I, I just gave it a spoiler. Alert. I'll I'll get to the women's Royal Rumble match uh, prediction later on. Anyway, um, okay, and then we got a Falls Count 
anyway match. Roman Reigns, the big dog, taking on King Corbin. I don't give the shit about this feud. There's no chemistry. They had a shit match at TLC. Why do they keep doing this feud? I don't understand this, man. It's bullshit. It's bullshit. I, I don't give two shit about King Corbin. I, I don't think he's that great. I never was a big fan of him when he was in NXT. That's, that's for me. Roman Reigns. My theory, they're going to build Roman Reigns up for WrestleMania. That's my theory on it. So, I don't really care at this point. Since, since, Corbin, got the win, since Corbin got the win at TLC, I'm going to say Reigns going to win at the Rumble. Anyway, let's move on to the... Yeah, this is a strap match for the WWE Universal Championship. The Fiend Bray Wyatt taking on Daniel Bryan. Why could they do this at WrestleMania? Instead of doing a... This is kind of like too early at this point. I don't want to see Bray Wyatt uh, dropping the belt at the Rumble. I know the Rumble's the big one of the biggest pay-per-view of the year. But I want to see him... I know he won the belt at, at that Crown Jewel event in October. I want to, have, I want to see... Bray, Bray White have a good run, like not just a four, four to six month reign. I wanted him. I want him to hold the belt for one whole year, make brought some bring some credibility into that championship. I can see Bryan getting up a second opportunity. I I can see Dan Bryan getting a big profile match at WrestleMania. Who knows? But I'm gonna go with Bray White being Daniel Bryan. I like Daniel Bryan, but the Fiend. I, I I'm starting to like the Fiend. I've been. Um, I think I liked the Fiend since SummerSlam of last year. Anyway, okay, that was the non-title matches. Let's go to the women's title match. Uh, the, not women's title match. The women's Royal Rumble match. And I just gave gave away my um. I gave away the spoiler. My prediction is going to be Ronda Rousey. Hope Ronda Rousey came back, come back to win the Royal Rumble. And challenge Becky for the title. We want to see. I want to see the Becky Lynch versus Ronda Ronda Rousey match. They teased it twice. You know, like should have done it at Survivor Series in 2018. They, you know, at Facts for Nia Jax, it was scrapped. Should have done it at WrestleMania last year, but they added Charlotte Flair into this match. So I want to see just round Ron Becky versus Ronda one on one for the championship. If you know, if she's not around. I want to. I want to see Alexa winning it. Here's my theory on it. Here's my uh, opinion on it. Because Alexa Bliss haven't really. She was. She's out of the women's towel picture for nearly two years. The last time she was in the towel, women's towel match, was basically. Like, I think it was SummerSlam. Or, no, not SummerSlam. I think it was the the autumn of 2018. That's the last time Alexa Bliss was out of the towel picture. You know, most of the time she's in the tag team towel picture with. Nikki Cross, but I, 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 I my first pick is going to be uh, Ronda, and my other pick is Alexa Bliss. My the the, the predictable theory is going to be Charlotte Flair is going to win it. Anyway, um, let's move it on to the main event, the men's Royal Rumble match. My the the super prediction that it's going to be Brock Lesnar, the the reigning defending WWE champion is going to. Yeah, he's entering, and he's my prediction is gonna. The theory is that's gonna. He's gonna win it. I don't want that, man. I'm gonna pick AJ Styles to win it because he like um because this uh this month marks the four year anniversary since AJ Styles make his debut to the WWE in this event. I want to see him winning the Rumble after four years since he debuted. If not AJ, I'm gonna go with maybe Bobby Lashley. But, I go with Kevin Owens, man. He's been in the company for nearly six years now. I want him to give him, I give him a rocket push. If not, what's the point him doing the whole Stone Cold Kevin Owens thing? Doing the Stone Cold Stunner thing? Yo, know, doing the Stone Cold Stunner. What's the point? So, yeah. But, I go, I go with AJ, man. If not, Kevin Owens. But my prediction theory is going to be... Ronda, uh, not Ronda Rousey, uh, Roman Reigns or Brock Lesnar. Because once again, my theory, they're going to just build, they're going to do building Roman Reigns up for WrestleMania 36 against Brock. That's, that's going to be the, my predictable match. Brock versus Roman again, WrestleMania 36 for the title. We've seen it so many times, and it's shit. 
from nearly two years ago. Anyway, I'm going to end it, man. So, hope you enjoy my Royal Rumble 2020 predictions. Hope you like it. Leave your thoughts and comments below. Smash the like button. Click the not notification bell. Subscribe to the Central Man Network on YouTube for more wrestling videos, live streams, movie reviews, and more. This is the Central Man. Actually, I hope every wrestler from the men and the women's Royal Rumble uh, match, I wish them a, a good luck. This is the Central Man officially signing out.